All right, on this one, of course, we remember that power is work over time, energy over time, something like that. And you're asking to figure out the total power of this elevator thing. I believe the answer is quite large, right? So we know that he moves to speeds of 16 meters per second. Determine the power delivered to the motor to lift this up. And we know the feet tall. So you're gonna have to convert feet to meters, let me think. So basically, the amount of energy you're gonna to have to do is mgh. So you know the mass of the elevator. And of course, you have to overcome gravity. And then the height, this is in feet. So you need to convert to meters. So this is just gonna be mgh divided by the time. Now the time is a little bit weird. It's hard you're gonna find the time. We know it travels at 16.8 meters per second. And we know the distance that it travels, and that's a constant speed. It's not moving at, um, so you need to find the time. So you're gonna use kinematics equations. So you're gonna do, it's upward, so you can say y2 equals y1 plus V1T plus one-half AT squared. But since it's moving at 16.8, it's not accelerating, so that term, the A, is zero. So you know how tall it is. You found this out, and this is in feet, so convert to meters, and then you can find the time. Y1, of course, he's starting at zero at the ground level. So you're trying to find, and you know Y2, this, this number converted to meters, and the V is 16.8, so you need to know this T, so you can plug in the T to get the answer.